first video in the series of the mini project and what I want to do in this video is just really explain uh, quickly what quickly what the project is um, and show you a little bit around uh, the, the mini and then we'll have a look down at the look at the strip down of the mini um, and the clean up of it in the video also and just a quick look at the mini first um, the project is going to be uh, it's a mark 4 shell so we're going to convert this shell into a mark 1 so that comes with quite a few challenges um, so what I've done is just for this first video just to show you uh, briefly or sp speak briefly about some of those uh, changes obviously some of you might know the mark 1 and the mark 4s um, or mark 1 onwards really there's often changes in the in the different years um, this being a Mark IV probably has one of the, the biggest changes from the Mark I. So um, those things being like the small rear lights, this has the large rear lights on this Mini. Mark I obviously has the, the small rear lights. Um, the, the front uh, grille is different obviously. Um, the, the doors are actually different uh, with the external hinges and that's probably the biggest thing. You've probably noticed a lot of people have done Mark I conversions um, to more modern of the classic minis but they haven't done the external hinges and the main reason for that is because it's quite a challenge so um, I'll talk about that first I'll just pop this on the tripod and just uh, show you a mark one door uh, which I've got here held on the just clamped on to the shell and we'll just, I'll pop you into the tripod and we'll have a little chat about that okay so we've got it we've just got it clamped on with some vice grips um, inside and sort of spaced out roughly where the door needs to be it's just really just to show you what um, it looks like to have a Mark 1 door fitted to a Mark 4 shell so you can see immediately they've got the, the gap down the back here um, so that's a change um, from the Mark 4 to the Mark 1 and then obviously you've got this gap at the top too on the top of the door so you can see obviously the door's quite a bit smaller um, on a Mark 1 the other change which you can't it doesn't stand out because it hasn't got the ear panel on or the apex panel but the front and the section of the door is slightly different where the apex panel fits on here um, it's curved at the bottom of the door on the Mark 1 whereas the original door on this shell on the Mark 4 would go straight down the bottom and would be um, like a right angle at the bottom there rather than the curve um, you can see obviously where the external hinges would fit on and then they would attach to the, the apex panel so the apex panel on the front, because it has external hinges, it requires an internal panel, which just basically braces the that section where the hinges fit on. So when the door's opened, um, obviously all the weight's spread. It's not just sitting on the that one thin uh, external um, A panel. There's also an internal A panel which is um, strengthened and gives you extra strength. So the doors are obviously they're lighter as well. Uh, there's less to the Mark One doors. So the plan is obviously we'll have to replace that rear quarter panel with a Mark 1 rear quarter panel. They need replacing anyway because they're, they're uh, full of um, filler and there's a lot of rust in the bottom of them. And this top section here obviously has to come down. That has to come down so we'll have to fabricate a section to go in there. Mm -hmm. um, and then obviously this rear window will have to match up with that so this section will have to come down also. Um, so that's just basically the external part of it or what you see from the outside. On top of that, you've then got the the difference in the um, inside of the ear panel. Uh, this is made for internal hinges, whether it be a Mark IV shell, and obviously the the locking mechanism in the back of this um, section here, in the back of the door, the B pillar. That's different, so there'll be uh, a bit of fabricating needed there. There are um, small panels you can buy, and um, we can buy a front uh, internal uh, hinge panel, which was made for the Mark One. And um, that'll convert that bit there. Um, it's a different particular wing as well. So there's a few changes needed and a little bit of fabricating needed to, to make that fit. It's just to give you a, a quick sort of look over what um, is needed for the make the Mark 1 door fit onto a Mark 4 shell. I'll show you the inside, what it looks like also. Uh, 
get a bit more of an idea where that door it comes up to in the rear. Um, you sort of see there's quite a quite a gap there. So that's obviously something that's going to need quite a bit of fabrication. As far as I'm aware, there isn't a panel you can buy for that, so that's something I'm going to have to create uh, myself. Um, the front sits fairly tight. Um, there's just obviously the inside section of the, the door where the hinges fit. There's a legacy. Like I'll show you the, the panel. Door. of that panel for the driver side or the, or the right hand side of the car depending on which country you're in um, so yeah just a, a quick look let's give you a few a close up shot of that door there's a new skin to go on that now we're a bit bit well actually they're not videos a lot of them are just photos and um, unfortunately I didn't manage to get videos when we bought the car and um, when we stripped it down but we'll just have a quick click through some of those pictures um, and I'll show you as I say what we started with we'll have a look at those now